ECOWAS Vice President Mrs. Finda Koroma has called for an urgent need to adopt a more proactive approach to Africa's common quest for development, peace and stability. Koroma made the call at a meeting held in collaboration with the African Peer Review Mechanism. The decision to leverage the APRM for early warning and conflict prevention at the continental level is far-reaching, visionary and laudable. Periodic APRM country evaluations, looking to identify existing and emerging challenges and vulnerabilities along the four thematic areas, will serve to reinforce early warning signs of potential conflict. She said the evaluations would also provide a useful guide for programmatic planning of interventions to prevent and mitigate tensions and conflict at all continental levels. In order to effectively silence the guns and keep them silent forever, robust mechanisms for inclusive dialogue-centered conflict prevention must be promoted actively and must also be entrenched deeply in all strategies and plans of action at the local, national, regional and continental levels. We need to make a tangible paradigm shift from reactive to preventive strategies and initiatives in order to completely achieve and sustain this aspiration. I also take note that another key objective of today's forum is to explore ways of strengthening the role of civil society in conflict prevention for the effective implementation of Agenda 2063. Mr. Eddie Maloka, Chief Executive Officer, APRM Secretariat, spoke on AU's mandate for the APRM. The, the, African, Union, um, the African Union gave the APRM the mandate to, to contribute to conflict prevention on the African continent because the African peer review mechanism, we, we produce country reports, and in those country reports, we are able to show the challenges that countries face, and some of those challenges, uh, we can harness them and use them for conflict prevention and for early warning. So really, we are here to think through the methodology and then the processes for doing that.